Carol to spend most of tomorrow in the Yucatan, probably weakening over land. They say it could then pick up power in the Gulf of Mexico. Oil and gas companies Shell and BP say they are evacuating their non-essential personnel from parts of that area. That barrel could also hit Texas and or northern Mexico. Earlier today, it hit the Cayman Islands after leaving behind devastation on some Caribbean islands. Robert Ray is, is in Jamaica with more on the damage. I am anxious and a bit scared. Hurricane Barrel continuing its devastating trek through the Caribbean on Thursday, stirring up gusty winds and dangerous storm surge on the Cayman Islands. Officials say a dozen shelters are open and crews are standing by for a major cleanup. Clearing major roadways for emergency services and, uh, and civilians to get through as well as possible search and rescue efforts. Barrel now rumbling toward Mexico's Caribbean coast at times packing winds as high as 125 miles per hour. Forecasters expect the storm to make landfall early Friday south of the popular tourist spot Tulum. People are boarding up homes and businesses and rushing to grocery stores to stock up on supplies, though some tourists say they're not worried. We'll be staying here because our flight's not due home till Monday. And I think we'll just take advice from the hotel and the directs that are there, but we're not too scared. The storm is growing weaker after pummeling Jamaica, as well as St. Vincent and the Grenadines this week, leaving multiple people dead. In Barbados, storm surge destroyed boats used by locals for fishing, an industry that provides income for thousands of people on the island. I never really experienced a system like this yet, at this magnitude, but yeah. I don't think that nobody wants to go through this yet. Barrel is expected to strengthen once again as it enters the Gulf of Mexico this weekend. In Jamaica, Robert Ray, Fox Weather.